हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द यूनिट ऑफ ई बिजनेस नाउ डेज वी पीपल जनरली बाय प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम फ्लिपकार्ट एमेजोन तो दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ई बिजनेस कि डेट मीन्स कैरिंग द बिजनेस एक्टिविटी और बाइंग एंड सेलिंग ऑफ गुड्स एंड एंड सर्विसेज थ्रू इंटरनेट दिस इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ई बिजनेस एंड नाउ डेज द ई कॉमर्स एक्टिविटीज और ई बिजनेस एक्टिविटीज has been increasing over the years that's why the scope of e business is increasing day by day the, you see ki that lots of millions of people nowadays prefer to buy from the flipkart or amazon now in present situation in the time of covid people's uh, are prefer uh, pre people's uh, people's prefer to buy from online server from online business uh, because they don't want to go to the shop to avoid covid so that means e business carrying on business activities through internet for example shopping from flipkart amazon mintra and nowadays people uh, are establishing their a uh, business page on facebook on instagram and they also display their product they come live and they display their product and with the help of whatsapp or with the help of their websites we can order the product and they also give the facility on cash on delivery so this is the concept of e business in e business there is no need of face to face contact between the buyer and the seller it saves the time it saves the cost it saves the effort of both the parties that's why due to the advantages of e business that's why the scope uh, of e business is increasing day by day now the scope of e business b to b commerce b stands for business c stand for customer <coughs> consumer customer or consumer the first is b2b that means business to business commerce ki business to business commerce means in which two enterprise or two business firms will be involved suppose one firm is giving order of raw material to the another firm over the email through the email this is known as b2b commerce ya one firm is giving contract or taking details from the advertisement agency to promote their product so the dealing between the two business firm with the help of internet with the help of mail or fax this is known as b2 b commerce activities now b2c commerce business to consumer commerce business to consumer may the one side is business and the second side is consumer so business firms nowadays provide the information about the product and promote the product on youtube instagram clear and they gives after sale services with the help of internet clear and they also distribute the product they display their product on the net so from the side of business to the customer this is b2c commerce now intra b commerce that means within the organization in an organization there are many many there are many there are many departments like production department marketing department finance department so the dealing between the two departments ya yeah, exchange of information between the two departments is known as intra b commerce suppose production department is giving order of purchasing raw material to the purchasing department that is dealing or exchange of information with the help of internet that is known as the intra b commerce that means the involvement of two departments involvement of two branches of the same enterprise of the same business form is known as intra b commerce now c to c c to c commerce consumer to consumer there is no involvement of business form two business uh, two consumers come together on the net and they deal about the product like for example quicker olx 
कि सपोज वन कस्टमर वॉन्ट्स टू सेल हिज और हर प्रोडक्ट सो दैट कस्टमर्स गिव द एडवर्टीजमेंट ऑन द ओ एल एक्स और क्विकर एंड अनदर इंटरेस्टेड कंज्यूमर्स कैन कॉन्टेक्ट विद डेट कस्टमर्स इफ ही और शी वॉन्ट्स टू बाय द प्रोडक्ट देर इज नो इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ एनी बिजनेस फॉर्म सो देर इज अ इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ कस्टमर कंज्यूमर्स फ्रॉम द बोथ साइड नाउ बी टू ई बिजनेस टू employees commerce if a business form is using net uh for, for taking interviews uh, or for the training purpose that is known as the b2e business to employees ki if business form is contacting with the employees if they are using net for taking interviews to give the trainings and nowadays mostly employees of it's companies are doing work from home so it's very helpful in nowadays c2b customer consumer to business that means in this if any consumer is facing any complaint regarding the product ki initiate from the side of customer to the business so they can write to the uh, business forms email id and they can contact to the business form so for solving their problems or grievances if they want to give any suggestion so this is from the side of customer to the business form so this was the scope of e business business to business business to customer intra b consumer to consumer business to employees and consumer to business form now the benefits of e business what are the benefits of e business worldwide reach with the help of internet a business form can reach uh, at the extended market or the customers uh, who are sitting in another countries so this e business has worldwide reach and the reach at the large scale elimination of middlemen in the era of e business there is no uh, role of middleman there is no need of middleman so it says the uh, it eliminate the middleman from the trading process and it will be beneficial for both the party for consumer as well as businessman it says the cost and it increase the profit margin of business firm and and it says the cost of consumer so it will be beneficial for both the parties lower investment required only few equipments are required to set up e business no need to establish no need to buy land building at home they can start business with the help of internet connectivity or pc or other equipments required movement towards a paperless society uh e business promotes paperless society because there there will be less uses of paper and it saves the environment uh, it saves the environment and reduce the pollution and also saves the cost speed it's a very speedy process and if when we buy product from flipkart or amazon to so within one or two days three days we can get delivery of the product so it's a very speedy and one more time worldwide and speedy and 24 into 7 days available we can buy online product at any time there is no particular time of closing or opening uh, in case of traditional business there is always particular time of opening and closing of shops easy to form there are less formalities of setting up of e business that's why easy to form lower investment required 24 into 7 days available movement towards a paperless society it reduce the role of middleman and it has worldwide reach so this was the unit of e business thank you